I'm at the Just Confluence and uh, day three, and I have a very interesting uh, guest here, uh, Mr. Nicholas from Suez. And uh, he has a very interesting history also, the history uh, which uh, the company which built the Suez Canal. And uh, Mr. Nicholas, thanks for speaking to Smart Sustain. And tell me what is your company about, what uh, specifics in India you're doing? Thank you. So we have been in India for 40 years now and we have built uh, more than 250 uh, water and wastewater treatment plants. And we are basically providing uh, essential services uh, to the communities and to the citizens to improve the quality of their life with uh, improving access to drinking water and to sanitation. Okay. And uh, the Indian uh, uh, waste management, water management, also the air management is different from the Europe uh, markets, right? How uh, different is the Indian market? So in India, uh, definitely we face uh, water scarcity. That's uh, uh, one of the biggest issues uh, of the large cities and also with expanding urbanization. So one of our challenge here is to save the resource, so to lose less water. So that's why we are helping uh, large cities in India to improve the water supply and to give 24 by 7 uh, water to, to the citizens. Also, we improve the access to sanitation by closing the gaps in the sanitation systems and also uh, helping the, 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 the operators to, to work in safe conditions, especially in the sanitation uh, domain, it's uh, critical. Uh, so, so that's a uh, value addition uh, of Suez. And which are the specific states uh, you're working with? You mentioned about uh, you've been here for the last four decades. Which states of India are working here? So we are present in Karnataka, of course, uh, but we have also been in, uh, in Maharashtra, in Mumbai. We have been uh, working in Delhi, in uh, Lucknow, in UP, Kolkata and uh, Tamil Nadu. So we have a quite uh, extended footprint in India and uh, we, we, we are looking forward to, to expand this footprint by also offering new services such as uh, maybe air quality monitoring and treatment, also uh, services for agriculture, for sustainable agriculture and also, uh, uh, also to help uh, rural communities access uh, water and sanitation services in the northern part of India. We have started uh, doing that in uh, Rajasthan, where we have uh, built more than 150 small water treatment plants uh, with uh, the participation of the, of the public and of the communities. So we, we definitely uh, uh, improve the social uh, impact by also applying uh, innovations, and innovations not only in the technical domain, but also in the social uh, domain. So, so our key word here is inclusiveness. Also for in another example, in Kolkata, uh, we have uh, used uh, more than 600 uh, ambassador women uh, to uh, disseminate the best practices of uh, water consumption and water, uh, so to, 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 to save water, and this helped to globally improve uh, the efficiency of the water supply in, in the areas that we serve in Kolkata, and uh, in that way the social inclu inclusion helps solve also uh, water supply and technical uh, challenges in the large cities. So. Yeah. Thanks, Nicholas, and uh, that was Nicholas. Uh, from the company Swiss and uh, thanks for speaking to Smart Sustain. Thank you very much. Thank you.